सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो टूटोरियल्स फॉर एब्सोलूट बिगनर्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो ऑन विंडोज 10. We also have learned how to create our first Hello World application. We also created a virtual device and test our Hello World application on that virtual device. So it is recommended to watch that video first before proceeding this session. So in this video we are going to take tour of Android Studio. We will get some familiarity with this tool because we have to use this tool again and again in future. so it is recommended to get some know how about this tool so stay tuned and watch the video till the end so guys now let's launch the android studio from going into the search bar and type android studio so this is the our hello world application we have created in the previous session so android studio will launch that project or application in the same form in the same configuration so if you have not yet closed that project so you will see the previous project in that form so if you properly close the android studio by going into the file and close project Next time whenever you launch the Android Studio you will see this welcome screen. So as we have discussed that the welcome screen has few options here. From here we can start the Android Studio. From here we can open an existing project. So in the same way we can import any project. So from the configure settings we can launch the AVD manager or virtual device manager or SDK manager. On the left hand side we will see the list of project we have created in the past. So in the past we have just created one project so we are seeing only one project here. So click this project to open it again. Boom, our application or our project is launched successfully. So from here we can see the multiple bars or windows opened in that tool. So now let's discuss each window and each bar one by one. So at the top of the Android Studio we can see the menu bar. So the menu bar contains different menus, task and options to do desired action on the Android Studio. So from the file we can see we can create new project, import any project or in the same way we have multiple options here. In the same way from tools we can see the AVD manager or SDK manager in the same way the different things and different task here so it contains a list of huge task and huge options so right below the menu bar on the right hand side we can see the toolbar so toolbar is basically the set of shortcuts or short actions we can perform on the android studio For example we have here the AVD manager so when we click on this we can see the virtual device manager is just launched by one click we can also launch the same AVD manager from the menu bar but we have to perform multiple clicks here first we have to click on tools then we have to select the AVD manager but the toolbar gives us the easiness for launching that desired tool by just one click in the same way in the toolbar we can see the run application or build application on the left hand side in the toolbar we can see the virtual device we just have created in the previous video so on the left hand side we can see the navigation bar so this is the navigation bar navigation bar is used to navigate through multiple folders and the files in the project So when we click on any folder we can see the multiple subfolders in that folder in the same way we will see so in this folder we can see a file main activity by clicking this file this file will be launched in that window 
So this window is basically the right hand window and the big window is called the editor area or editor window. So this is used to edit or write the code for our application. So this windows keep on changing based upon the file which is opened. So if we select the .xml file, we can see the screen of our project. So the .xml file is basically the screens or uh, activity for our application which is being developed at the moment. But when we click the .java file, we will see the code here. So this is the editor window. And on the left hand side of the editor window, we can see the project tools window. So the project tool window keeps on changing by selecting the desired option. So we have select the Android. So when we select the project, we can see that this windows is changed a little bit. So the Android option is basically a simplest uh, form of setting we can see in the tools window. So it is used to navigate through multiple files and folders in the Android studio. So in the first folder or manifest folder, we can see the manifest dot XML file. So it contains basically the permissions and the settings for our Android application. Right below the manifest file, we can see the Java folder. From here, we can see the main activity dot Java file. This is basically writing the functionality of our application. And this is the resource folder for our application. We can have different resources like images, like uh, colors or string settings. So we do that settings in the resource folder. So in the drawable, we used to import the images for an application. As you can see here, we have the image launcher background. In the layout, we see the screens of our application. By clicking this, it will display the layout of the screen, which we will develop in the future. In the same way, we have MIP map and right below we have the values folder. So it has different values for colors. We can describe our desired color with our desired names here. In the strings, we can describe the strings which will be used in our project. In the same way, we have different styles here as well. So right below here, we can see the Gradle scripts. So Gradle scripts are basically uh, the scripts or the configurations which are run on the final executable of our application like the APK file to give it the desired functionalities. On the bottom of the screen, we can see the status bar. This is the status bar. The status bar is basically used to display the current activities or status uh, in our application. It also used to describe the functionality of a specific tool. Suppose when we hover our mouse on uh, this AVD manager, the status bar is changed to describe its functionality. In the same way, when I hover my mouse on the run, it will describe its functionality. It is saying that run selected configuration. So in the left most side, we can see a button. When we hover on this button, we can see multiple windows which can be opened in our tool. So upon clicking the desired uh, window, the each window will be opened on the different positions in the Android Studio. Suppose we are going to open the event log. So event log are basically used to display the logs for the recorded events in our application. So it is saying that Gradle synced started and Gradle synced finished. In the same way we hover on it and we can see the log cat. So the log cat is basically used to debug the application for finding the issues or findings the bugs in our application in the form of logs. So we put the logs at the different points in our application and these logs are printed in this window for debugging the application. In the same way, we can see the terminal. So the terminal basically serves the same functionality as we are seeing the command prompt in the Windows application. In the same way, we can see the Gradle. So Gradle windows will be opened on the right hand side. So when we click on the button of the window, this window hides. Upon clicking, it will display again. Upon clicking again, it will hide. In the same way, we can hide this window as well. 
and to hide this window we have to click the minimize button and you can see that all windows have gone so we can also see that these windows are also being displayed on the different areas of the android studio on the left hand side we have project windows structures favorites the same windows in the to do look at build or terminal so in the to do we can see the actions in queue which are going to be performed in the android studio so in the build phase we can see build status of project so our project is built successfully or not so in the same way we can see the event log as we have discussed it so guys now let's add the hotkeys of the android studio so by clicking the control plus tab button we can see the currently opened file here so upon clicking the tab button it changes the selection of the file so when you lift your finger from the control button this will be vanish away so in the same way we have another hotkey control plus e button so it will display all the recent files which are currently opened in the android studio so by the arrow keys we can navigate to different files and upon clicking a specific file this will be opened in the android studio now let's change the theme color of the android studio for this we go to file from here click on settings so from here we can see the theme option currently the intellij themes is selected to change we have multiple options we have the dracola click apply so as you can see here our theme color has changed so you can select your desired theme which is comfortable on your eyes so we can also select the high contrast theme click apply now the android studio has took a more deeper look we can select our old setting intellij it is comfortable for me so click the apply button and you can see that we are back in the previous theme so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video this is enough for this session please like share our video and subscribe to our channel bye bye